Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve a laptop that will not be able to connect to a Wi-Fi signal. So this should hopefully be a fairly quick tutorial and we're going to just jump right into it. So we're going to start by opening up the start menu and you want to type in device manager and the best match that comes up underneath control panel should say device manager right here. So you want to left click on that. And you want to left click on the network adapters area right here and left click on the little arrow immediately next to it. Now if there's any network adapters listed here, you want to right click on them. And if there's an option to enable the network adapter, I'd recommend left clicking on that. Might take a moment. And then I also recommend right clicking on it and then proceeding to left click on update driver software. And then you want to search automatically for updated driver software, which is the first option. And I would recommend restarting your computer as well after this just to see if it helps resolve your problem. If it still doesn't resolve your problem, I would recommend opening up the star menu and then typing in CMD. And underneath programs, the best match that comes up should say CMD. You want to right click on that and then left click on run as administrator. And if you receive a user account control window, you want to select yes. So now into this elevated command line window, you want to type in NET SH space INT space IP, another space reset. So NET SH int IP reset. And then you want to hit enter on your keyboard to run that command. And it should take a moment, so you just want to be patient here. And then once that is done, you want to run one more command. And again, type in exactly how it appears on my screen. You want it to say NETSH space WinSock space reset. So NETSH WinSock reset. And then once you have typed that in exactly how it appears on my screen, you want to hit enter and you want to let it run. And I would recommend that you restart your computer after this attempt as well and see if that resolves your problem. I would also recommend considering resetting or unplugging your router or modem out of your wall and then plugging it back in and seeing if that can reset it as well. And also I'd recommend heading down to the bottom right corner of your system tray. And if you have a Wi-Fi logo, it's going to appear like three different bars on top of each other, like a cell phone signal basically. And if you don't see it right down here, you might have to click on those little show hidden icons to find it up here. And you want to right click on it and then proceed to left click on troubleshoot problems. Now if you don't have an internet connection it's not going to prompt you like it will for me in a couple moments but it might be able to diagnose what the problems are that it found on your computer and that's another alternative solution and another one would be to open up system restore and then restore your computer back to a recent state and I've noticed that one works as well for some reason so that can definitely be useful. So I think we've gone through quite a few different helpful methods in this tutorial today and I hope one of them was able to help fix your problem for you without too much of a hassle. And as always I do appreciate you guys watching this tutorial. I hope it helped and I look forward to catching you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.